The rich text editor is very similar to the drag and drop editor, but instead of dragging elements into the document, I'm going to build it up by adding new blocks. It's a very simple way to create newsletters. Let me show you how to do it. Now let's create a new campaign. Click on create, then choose create campaign, give it a name, save and continue. Fill in the information here, content, and here we're going to start from scratch. Choose the rich text editor. The rich text editor is very similar to the drag and drop editor, but instead of dragging elements into the document, I'm actually going to build it by adding new blocks. Every document has a built in footer. You can modify the text, but you can't delete the section. Why? Well, because you must include a footer with the unsubscribed link in all of your campaigns. So we just made it easier for you. The footer is ready to go. When you hover above the left side of the document, you'll be able to add new blocks by clicking on the plus sign. Now let's add an image, a text section, and a video. To populate the image and the video blocks, click on the element and in the right editing bar, you'll be able to upload and edit in the same way you would if you use the drag and drop editor. The text block can be added or edited in the body of the document. So you can basically copy and paste or compose text right here. If you want to reorder elements, hover and drag the blocks just like that. As I just demonstrated, we have a text block and an image block, and here we have a table block. Let's add this and click on the table to adjust and modify the padding, number of rows and columns, the table settings, and style. You can add a signature block. Here you can upload an image by clicking on the image and uploading here. You can also modify the signature, click on it and then draw, type or upload a file. And you can adjust the size of the signature by changing the signature width value. You can add a divider here or a button, which you can edit the same way you would edit in the drag and drop editor. A quote block can be used if you want to feature testimonials or have an important message from the company's founder, etc. You can include your social media links in your newsletters to gain more traffic on your social media pages. You can add Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, WordPress, Spotify, Slack, and many more. Lastly, you can create a countdown block to create a timer for a specific event. You can add and edit the expiration date and time for the event. And this feature uses your account time zone to calculate the expiry date for your subscribers time zone. So you don't need to worry about that. When you hover above the right side of the blocks, you'll be able to delete, duplicate, and set dynamic content. Dynamic content allows you to set the visibility for any block to be shown only to specific subscribers. You can choose whether you want this block to be shown to all of your recipients, to specific groups, or to subscribers who meet certain rules. To exclude a group, simply do not select them as recipients. You can preview your campaign, send a test email, and continue to the next screen the same way you would in the drag and drop editor. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the bell button below so you don't miss any new tutorials. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our newsletter. The link is in the description section below. Have an awesome day or night, and I'll see you in the next video.